Hi guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Second part of this video for the kitchen remodel. I have to keep the videos a little bit shorter. It's harder to download those to my Dropbox and to my SEO guide. The video is done in February 2018. The other thing I forgot to mention was a pressure cooker. These are becoming more popular as well. Um, so keep that in mind as you're dividing out your circuits, um, how you're going to trace that. This video is going to be practical about how did I pull wire without a lot of damage to this kitchen. So let's go ahead and back up the video. Um, I'll try to be as loud as I can. So anyways, I went ahead over here and I separated the circuit as I traced it that went over here. This is the load, this is the line, the line to the panel. So the only thing on the circuit now is going to be this outlet traveling over here to this light here and to this garbage disposal here. And then the dishwasher was already divided out down below and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, the back outlet was added. So what I did on there was I found the fridge from here going to this way and I separated um, that as well over to here and I refed the fridge so just the outside plug and the fridge are together. I know that's not the most kosher thing to do but it's going to be better in the long run after you see the video. So now basically this whole wall is on its own circuit. This dishwasher is separated finally. The fridge is separated finally um, because of just dividing up downstairs. Now over here um, now keep in mind you do not have to pull these wires out. You can cap them and put the neutral and hot together or once you for sure, 100% sure, cut those off on both sides. Make sure you know what you're doing there and you're oming out or using a light bulb or testing hot or whatever. So from here coming down is now my old cloth wire. From here microwave down is the newer uh, cut in yellow cable anyways. And then um, here's an outlet that I added coming down. There is already a 240 volt 3 wire that's been there and I probably could have used that as I joined circuits but that would be really hard to put a box down there and join them all so I left that alone and it's capped in the panel because she's not going to use it. Now um, I have eight wires down there. Um, I'm going to do a third video that's going to talk about box fill so just hang on here. Um, up here this, out, this out, um, uh, box in the microwave area was barely cut in, used some F straps with plastic and as soon as I opened up it fell down in the wall. So we got that box out. I went ahead and put in, I like these Allides because these have a really deep fill and they actually can self adjust to the cabinet so I may not need a spark ring. Mind you, this was so far back I did need a spark ring. Um, sometimes I'll use a cut in wing box like that as well. But anyway, so I did a, a two gang box. I'll show you how that trims out when I'm done. Um, keeping in mind, I'll show you another video when I'm finished with the AFCI, GFCI protection based again on that panel location, how it's limited to circuits. So go ahead, So the view of the place is pretty much, that's the nook. Back behind me is the living room. The very, very small kitchen here. This is a back door going outside. Here's the panel. Uh, let's travel downstairs real quick. And as I pull wire, just to show you guys, I love these um, wire reels, wheels right here for the two... 150 um, foot rolls of NM cable for 14.2, 14.4, 14.3, 12.2, 12.4, whatever. Uh, even does good with a 10.3. It's a little heavy on it, but I love using these in the van. Easy to pull off if you don't have help for the moment or for the day. So coming down here, um, as you can see, this whole wall had the kitchen with the stairs. So that is a little difficult when you're putting boxes in the wall. What I did is I came down here and she asked me to put in another plug and not take off the board. So this will be AFCI, GFCI protected. Now mind you, I do not have to AFCI anything in an unfinished area per article 210.12. Pay attention to B though if you're in a dormitory verse A when you're here in an unfinished laundry room area basically. So again, the, 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 in the past, this washer was actually on that circuit. So we went ahead and cut off those wires, okay? And I pulled that out and I cut the conduit, reamed it, put on a set screw coupling and shoved down a brand new circuit to the washer machine dedicated to itself now. Now that dryer is also a part of this because the dryer is gas but it's taken up just for the clock board on here and pretty much your igniter. So I don't think that's going to hurt anything with a single pole 20 amp circuit. Now that is GFCI right here where it's accessible to code, readily accessible. So that's all done here. That was dedicated. I pulled that out when I did the fridge and there you see up here some, how somebody already did a box. They did that years ago. So uh, probably five years back. So I went ahead and traced that out and I just joined basically there's a back outlet out there that is now actually just part of that dishwasher. 
it's not going to hurt anything whatsoever. Um, so, uh, anyways, the, the, the last thing is that as I brought my power down through here around the furnace, I gave her a pull chain. And again, guys, let me show you these stacks. This ally, this is a round allied box that can screw in so you don't have to hammer and tight joist. And you, now we got our pull chain right here and then our stack. So I love that in that situation to meet code for how you're going to take care of Article 334 and 300 on keeping your Romex secured. Um, stapled it here. Again, we went back up to the two gain, king back down. So this is single by itself. This will be AFCI, GFCI from upstairs. Um, I'm not too concerned if a gas range and this are together. She is going to put a small little fridge down here, so it's not going to hurt anything. Um, so at least you got to see the overview, how we had no damage, and we did most of the work from down here. It was already unfinished. And imagine this all finished. We're going to be cutting a lot of holes in order to get that or pull that ceiling just so we can get all those wires in to separate. So now this wall upstairs is separated from this wall over here. And we're now going to have, let's go back upstairs. We're now going to have three circuits coming up here. And that's going to be the washer, the microwave, and the kitchen counter. Okay? And um, as we came up here, we're now going to have these outlets separated the gas in the microwave and that little fridge on its own circuit. This fridge, now like I said, is outside this circuit by itself with the outside outlet and the dishwasher by itself. And then now finally this outlet and this by itself. I could put a stack here and then try to give them another outlet to meet code for here, but I can't get up in this area because the furnace duct and the wall's right here. So I'm not able to give them another dedicated 20 amp circuit. We already have one. I don't typically like having the light the disposal and the kitchen counter together, but they don't want to move the counter and the cabinet. So there's sometimes some limitations that you just can't do. It is what it is, but this is um, going to alleviate instead of one circuit. Now we finally are going to end up with one, two, three, four, five. And then um, with the washer downstairs is six circuits. So we went from two to six and that should alleviate that issue. The complaint I would have ended up getting is the microwave is popping with this. What I really, what I got a call over the weekend was, and a text was, how come when the washer popped, it killed the whole kitchen? Because the power went from to this GFCI to here, down to the GFCI downstairs and back up. Now, mind you, two GFCIs that are running in series of each other do not play well. So when you put one in the wall, you may have to parallel those wires. Um, but anyway, so now this GFCI kills here, the washer's on its own GFCI, and then over here they have their separate GFCI AFCIs. Um, I'll get into the AFCI on the next video, thanks.